What did I do wrong? How far was it? I wasn't going that fast. I wasn't going that fast. Well, honey, you had several miles to stop. Why didn't you stop? Because I didn't know they were going after me. Ma'am, there was about four police cars behind you at one point in time. Did you ever, ever realize that we were behind you and no, we were on your stop? Was, I was listening to my music and I, I don't know how they, they, I don't understand how they do it in Georgia, oh but that's not God. how it's done here. Okay. There was a patrol car that pulled up Excuse right beside me. of you, right here. Excuse me. Please. Please. I need you to take this to all of me because I'm in pain. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, Sasea Shalom to you other elders in Akium, your brethren, your few, sister, few sisters, and followers of the truth. And let me say Shalom to the elect. Okay, I want to go on this video here that's been surfacing viral video. Um, that a brother um, uh, sent me a uh, channel named GMS Baltimore Topics. Uh, you can follow some of his videos and subscribe and get, and get edified. Also, um, I want to touch again, touch on this topic here uh, with this woman who is a 68 year old woman who was slammed to the ground by the by law enforcement, by the police officers. And I just want to give my take on that, this whole situation with that. I mean, this is um, definitely definitely media-oriented as well. I'll get into that. Um, I saw the short clip where they just r showed the part of them grabbing her and taking her out, throwing them down. Now, we teach about this man and his system and what this is all about, but... We'll also say, let me get a scripture real quick, Isaiah 32 and 9, and I'll get to the commentary. It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. And who is he speaking through? To the men of the Lord. Right? So, the way I see it, I've been in situations just like this, not with the cops, but um, with the woman in uh, the situation where she feels that um, no matter what happens, she's not, she's exempt. Uh, got into it with a lady some years back from where I lived at, and it was a so-called, she felt as a prestigious neighborhood, and we got into a little argument. Uh, it wasn't even an argument, just a disagreement, and immediately she calls her nephews, her uncles, whoever else uh, to come against me okay so I've seen this on other occasions uh, I've dealt with women that I've known we get into arguments or whatever you know how they are they first call the police that's their saviors but what happens is when the police come then they become innocent they've done nothing wrong now this woman here says that she did nothing wrong and they said well we followed you 10 miles cars beside you and you know what she said what did I do wrong I didn't know y'all was coming after me see in her mind there's no way she could be pulled over there's no way that she could be yanked out of the car and thrown on the ground this is what she thought in her mind it's a young black man that needs to get pulled over and be a martyr for the Black Lives Matter movement Okay, in her mind, I can't be touched. It's not me. I'm innocent. And the cop, the cop said, "We pulled up on the side of you, and you still didn't pull over." So here's what I'm thinking: When you go take the driver's test, and I'm I'm knowing all of of most of Maryland, but in other states, they always tell you because they have a curriculum. They always tell you, look, when you see sirens flashing. You got two mirrors on each side, a mirror on each side, and a mirror in the middle of your windshield. And if you see the, the mirrors, if you see flashing lights, pull over. That's the first thing on a knowledge test. 
pull over, but not her. Then what they do is, why are the police releasing the footage? They release the footage because they're body cams. And you know what's going to happen? All her nephews, brothers, uncles, even some Israelite groups, they're going to stand up and say this is injustice. Sure, they didn't have to pull out the car and slam her down. But remember, we're in an equal society now, right? Everybody's equal. Everybody's on, a, on the same playing field. Nobody's more uh, equal than others. I guess when this situation has happened, then you revert back to being a woman and now I'm, I've been uh, attacked and abused and mistreated. Well, as Jake's, that has been happening to not only by the oppressor, the top oppressor, but the other oppressors, and you know who they are, who take us to child support, right? <laughs> Get us locked up by the police. Look down on you when you go into their job establishment, their work establishment, and they look at you and talk to you like you're trash. But now you're seeing everything reversing, right? You should understand who the enemy is, who he is, and what he's about. But all these women, these people, these Black Lives Matter and our people, they run up in the Christian church and they don't know nothing about the Bible and nothing that has to do with everyday life. So if Jesus was with her, what would have happened? Should that have happened? Isaiah, uh, let's go to Genesis 29 and 30 and 40. 39. And Isaac, his father, is going into Jacob and Esau. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew, and of the heaven of above. And by the sword thou shalt, shalt thy live, right? And the sword shalt thou live, the gun, and shall serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherein his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning of my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Right? So we went in several lessons on that. So uh, again, when you people say, you Israelites, you teach hate, you teach hate. No, we teach correction. And a part of correction is hate. A part of truth is hate. Whether you like it or not. This woman obtained a driver's license, uh, got, a, got on a, you know, obtained a, a, a driver's permit, which in the knowledge test, it told her what you should do and shouldn't do in case of the situation. Now, they also tell you driving is not a right, but a privilege. It's the first thing they say. We know the laws are all backwards. We know it's all messed up and it's full of lies. Uh, name whom three and one. Woe to the bloody city is all full of lies and robbery. But my whole point is that you are not exempt under, according to the law. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want to your man uh, financially, uh, take his home, take his livelihood, take his children, but you will do what we tell you to do. You better understand that because we are in charge and this is what they're saying. We are in charge, not you. I think that our people just need an excuse to throw tantrums. It's going to get some air time. Again, I don't know the whole situation. And we know damn well that they didn't have to take the so-called black woman <laughs> and throw her down like that. But again, this is what we say. This is what we say because if you're claiming equality and you're claiming um, you you know to be on the level of man and woman, and you look at the shows and you see the the uh, fems kicking tail, but reality. The Most High is going to show you what the actual deal is every time. Every time. Let's go to Revelation 18 and 7. How much she have glorified herself. Really talking about Babylon, this place today. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. And then here you got 
our counterparts living in that cycle doing the same thing living deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her she said in her heart I sit a queen and no, and no am, am no widow and shall see no sorrow right this is what the example of uh, queen of heaven I am not it happened to me who me they pulling me over oh no they ain't trying to pull me over they looking for one of them youngins you know them, them young men men black men that's who they trying to get not myself I didn't do nothing wrong see in her mind how dare they pull her over as much as I've done for you and you're going to tell you're going to pull me over she probably looked in the mirror at herself and pointed to herself like me that's crazy I just wanted to give my thoughts on that um, the scriptures say what it say all the way through uh, Sirach 12 and 10 I think never trust thine enemy uh, a lot of you are into the Christian church you'll follow these uh, Christian fake apologists who will tell you you can eat what you want you can do whatever you want forget God's laws the most high's laws and then now you see the example of what's, what's to come just a small portion of what's to come that's all I have on that shallow home.